This photo shows the 20th Convention of Japanese Abroad, which was held in Tokyo in 1979. Emperor Akihito and Empress Machiko, who were then Crown Prince and Crown Princess, attended the event. Japanese immigrants work in a sugar cane field in this photo believed to have been taken between about 1885 and 1900. Photo from Konosuke Atsuki material at the Japan International Cooperation Agency Japanese Overseas Migration Museum in Yokohama, Color Adjusted, Tokyo, an annual convention honoring people of Japanese descent abroad, or Nikkei, is set to be held in Hawaii on June 6, June 7 Japanese time, with Japan's Prince Akishino and Princess Kiko in attendance. The 59th Convention of Nikkei and Japanese Abroad will be held in Honolulu, amid hopes it could help deepen ties between Japan and Nikkei people. The convention's roots go back to the 1950s, starting as a gathering to pay tribute to Nikkei who aided Japan's post-war recovery. After World War II, Japan, which was struggling with food shortages, received support from various countries and organizations. One of those was the Licensed Agencies for Relief in Asia Lara, an international non-governmental organization. Milk, grain and other supplies that the group provided were known as Lara Supplies. The total amount of aid in 1952 currency topped some 40 billion yen. About 20% of this was provided by people of Japanese descent. Support beyond these Lara supplies was also received from Nikkei societies in various countries. The inaugural convention of Nikkei in Japanese abroad was held in Tokyo in 1957 as a way of expressing thanks to these Nikkei people. In 1965, Prince Mikasa, the youngest brother of the Emperor Showa and Emperor Hirohito, attended the event, and members of the Imperial family have attended practically every year since then. The Emperor and Empress attended the 40th and 50th editions of the event. The convention has been held in Japan almost every year, but this year it is being held in Hawaii to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the first arrival of Japanese immigrants to the U.S. state. About 300 people from roughly 15 countries are expected to take part. Among Hawaii's Nikkei population is Sherry Tamura, 62, President of the United Japanese Society of Hawaii and a third-generation Nikkei resident. Her grandfather moved to Hawaii from Hiroshima before the war, and worked on a sugar cane plantation. Around 1900, Nikkei made up about 40% of Hawaii's population, and they prided themselves on building the foundations for industries there though hard agricultural work and other such efforts. During World War II, people of Japanese descent were subjected to discrimination and hostility, being branded hostile foreigners, but Tamura says her ancestors didn't talk of their hardship, rather their advice was to be kind to others. She said she loves Japanese traditions and culture. Tamura hopes the conference will cultivate close exchange between Japan and Nikkei society. Members of Japan's imperial family often have opportunities to visit people of Japanese descent living overseas. Sophia University Professor Emeritus Kotaro Horosaka, a managing director of the Association of Nikkei and Japanese Abroad, commented, I think the reason the imperial family continues exchange with Nikkei residents overseas is that it is focusing on their history of supporting Japanese post-war recovery. If we collaborate with Nikkei Society, which has diverse culture, then the appeal of Japan will be conveyed across the world. Japanese original by Now Yamada, City News Department.